Sue Ree of Carnegie's Department of Plant Biology is a corresponding author of research regarding RNET. RNET is a computational model that can help predict the function of plant genes with unprecedented speed and accuracy. In this illustration, each line of the RNET network represents a functional link between two genes. The colors indicate the strength of the link using a red-blue heat map scheme. The image includes about 100,000 functional links made among about 10,000 Arabidopsis genes. The underlying idea of RNNet is that genes that physically reside in the same neighborhood or turn on in concert with one another are probably associated with similar traits. This relationship is called guilt by association. RNNet used over 50 million scientific observations to generate over 1 million linkages among the 19,600 genes in the experimental mustard plant Arabidopsis thaliana. The network uses a set of genes known to be involved in a particular biological process as bait to find other genes that are involved in similar processes. The bait genes are linked to each other based on over 24 different types of experiments or computations. Some genes may be linked to each other much more frequently or strongly than by chance. Other genes that are as well linked to the bait genes have a high probability of being involved in the same process. The scientists use computational validation tests and laboratory experiments to test the accuracy of RNNet on three uncharacterized genes. Two of them exhibited phenotypes that RNNet had predicted. One is a gene that regulates drought sensitivity. The other regulates lateral root development. The network was much stronger forecasting correct associations than previous small-scale networks of Arabidopsis genes. RNNet may become an essential component of next-generation plant research. Solutions for problems like food security in an era of changing climate and globalized economies will require innovations in our basic understanding of plants and an effective application of that knowledge. The research was supported by the Carnegie Institution for Science, the National Research Foundation of Korea, Yonsei University, the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, and the Packard Foundation. It was published in the January 31st advanced online version of the journal Nature Biotechnology. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.